manufacturing of soaps the first process is cold process in this process the molten fat or oil is mixed with a calculated quantity of lye lye of sodium hydroxide in an iron vessel what is a lye lye is a strongly alkaline solution so here we have taken a lye of NaOH sodium hydroxide in an iron vessel and in it uh, we mix molten fat or oil right the mixture is stirred vigorously we stir it very fastly by a mechanical stirrer when the saponification takes place as soon as soap begins to set it is drawn out into frames we draw draw it out into frames and allow to set there then the solid soap is cut into bars and it is dried there are some limitations of this process it is not possible to recover glycerol from this method and the reaction between fat or oil and alkali does not proceed to completion that means it is an incomplete reaction the second process the second method is hot process the molten fat or oil is taken in the soap kettle provided with steam coils for heating so let us see what is a soap kettle this is a soap kettle in this manufacture of soap by hot process is done an excess of lye that is sodium hydroxide is added and mixture is boiled and agitated by passing steam through the steam coils here we add lye from here and oil or molten fat the mixture from here and then this mixture is disturbed we uh, use the word agitated which means disturbed by passing steam through the steam coil this is the steam coil it passes heat to the system the saponification occurs and is completed in 12 to 24 hours common salt is now added to throw the soap out of solution and heat it continuously right the soap formed a separate layer at the top this layer is of soap the lower layer which is aqueous of spent lye is run off and treated for the recovery of glycerol that means lower layer is uh, drawn out of here and it is used to recover glycerol again the soap left in the kettle is again boiled with more of NaOH to ensure complete saponification and then separated as before now the soap is boiled with water and allowed to settle the upper curdy layer of soap is pumped to the crutcher provided with an outer steam jacket in the crutcher the soap is mixed with any special constituents like perfume coloring matter glycerol etc and stirred vigorously here the upper layer of soap is sent to the crutcher it is the outer steam jacket of the crutcher and from here soap is withdrawn and in this crutcher uh, perfume etc is added the soap thus obtained is drawn out in the frames and allowed to solidify it is finally dried and cut into bars the advantage of hot process over cold process it ensures complete saponification of oils or fats and give a pure product and glycerol can be recovered by this method.